Florida State and Miami, Saturday night, 7 p.m., nationally televised on ESPN from Hard Rock Stadium, Miami Gardens, Florida. It is the Seminoles at the Hurricanes. We get 54 and a hook being the total, Miami Hurricanes minus 21. You might think, what is this doing on ESPN primetime Saturday night between a 7-0 and and a 1-6 and team? Well, hey, it's Florida State and Miami, guys. And coming from, from a Floridian, in my opinion, this is the uh, the marquee kind of rivalry in the Sunshine State. But it does come down to the ultimate equalizer here. We're talking it from a betting perspective. And Miami laying three touchdowns, and we're getting mid-50s here as the total. So FSU coming in one and six straight up on the year, just two and five against the spread. Seminoles have been burning some money. They're also one and six trending to the under totals wise and of course Miami running the table so far seven and0 straight up however just four and three against the spread so able to cover some of these big numbers has been a question mark for the Miami Hurricanes and pretty much the opposite end of the spectrum from a totals betting perspective seven and0 to the over this Miami team has been cashing overs and been winning games straight up anyway and Mario Cristobal he's coaching them up you know one thing I actually caught the game Miami playing Florida uh, week one in the swamp. And one thing I took notice of is this Miami offensive line, some big boys, some tough guys up front. They win the line of scrimmage. And as a former offensive line coach himself and player, Chris Wall's got a uh, pretty good unit up front. And what I mean, Heisman, Heisman hopeful, Heisman front runner here and Cam Ward at the quarterback position it is a pretty pretty nice mixture there for the Miami Hur- Hurricanes offense. And just comparing the offenses, guys, you know, talking about it on the field here. This is the number one offense in college football. Yards per game averaging 577 yards per contest. That's 8.1 yards per play. I mean, each time they snap the ball, they're going for more than eight yards. This is tough to stop for, for any college football defense, let alone a one in six team in the Florida State Seminoles. And comparing the offense, you know, 577 yards, number one ranked offense for Miami. Florida State is number 132 nationally in terms of yards per game. That's 276 yards per game. I mean, what, 276 times two? Miami's more than doubling them, two to one in terms of yards per game. This is is a, a situation we have not seen in this rivalry in quite some time. In fact, If you look at the point spread, this is the largest favorite the Miami Hurricanes have been ever between these two. The previous high was in 2018. They were minus 14 point favorites. Looking at a little bit of series history here last year, Florida State won this game by seven points, 27 to 20 over the Canes. And the year before, you know, keep in mind, they go back and forth between Tallahassee and Miami. Florida State came into Hard Rock and won 45 to three, demolishing the Canes. Um, they, they, they've won three straight in the series. So you got to think, you know, revenge a little bit. If Miami has them down, I wouldn't be surprised if they look to run it up and they have the offensive capabilities to do so this season. They're off of that wild win against Louisville on the road in Louisville, Kentucky. They went 52 to 45. They did cover the what four and a half point point spread as the favorite. It's a tough one because rivalry wise guys, particularly when this series is in Miami, um, I grew up in Fort Lauderdale. I've been to this series down in Hard Rock probably, I don't know, 10 times in my life. It's one of the wildest atmospheres in a, in a regular kind of game. If, if Florida State was a little bit better, it's one of those atmospheres you just don't see anywhere else in college football. I mean, it, it is a wild time out there tailgating for a night game. Uh, it, it, it's just wildness. It, it, it's like a bucket list opportunity if you're a college football fan to go catch one of these down in Miami, Miami, Florida State. So, you know, it brings in that rivalry aspect. Is Florida State going to be pumped up for this one? Yeah, they are. I mean, they could bounce back their season. I guess technically they're still bowl, you, you know, they're still alive for a bowl game at one and six. They're going to have to run the table. It's a long shot to do so. And particularly as a 21 point favorite, uh, going to have to win this one. I don't think it happens. I think Miami wins the game, guys. And I I think they pull away in the second half type deal and bringing in the fact that Florida State's kind of had their number the last three years. And Miami has the more talented uh, offensive skill positions at the line of scrimmage, you know, the offensive line in particular and definitely at the quarterback position. I, I think Miami, it might be tight for a little bit. I don't like that first quarter, first half with the Canes. 
But in the second half, don't be surprised if the Miami Hurricanes run away with it, guys. So let's jump on the Miami Hurricanes. Minus 21. We're laying the wood here with the U over the Seminoles. That's going to do it for Florida State Miami preview. Check out Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. We got the uh, premium packages up and available. So, uh, yeah, guys, check it out. Smash that like button. Comment below. Let me know you watch. If you agree, if you disagree, um, all is welcome. It helps out the algorithm. I'll be in there before kickoff chiming in with you guys. So, uh, yeah, comment below. Smash that like button. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy your Saturday night. Enjoy your weekend. Cash those tickets.